Okay. Hello, Pisces. Welcome. How are you all? I am, of course, Rachel Stebbins Navy, a.k.a. Villaggio Strega, here with your February 14th Valentine reading. Starting out with you couples, seeing what the energy is for you all. Uh, and then I'll move into your singles reading. And uh, keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. Will that resonate for everyone? So take what does and leave the rest. And, of course... If you have a challenge or situation in your life that you would like more clarity or guidance on, feel free to reach out to me. All my information uh, is either in the description below or in the About section of my channel. So that said, let me move this back here and give you a little bit more of a view of what's going on here on the table with the cards. If you don't know my reading style, uh, I do not uh, choose the cards. I let them come out as they're meant to. And then, if I have to, I'll clarify uh, from there. Too many. You're already coming out with uh, leading into the week of, leading into the day of the energy of the magician. So you're manifesting something there, Pisces couples. Let's find out what it is. I'm going to look at your external challenges. And then your center, what's at the heart of the matter, what's at the core. Our two of Cups energy, okay. And then your internal challenges and, of course, your overall energy for the reading. And then I'll clarify that up some more with your energy, your partner's energy. See what else the angels have to say. Eight of Wands energy for your center. Lots of messages coming in for you, you Pisces, in a relationship. Okay. What else do you have for me, please? For Pisces, February 14th, 2021. It is a very snowy wintry day here in Vermont. Absolutely. And I'm like, oh, just want to go hiking in it. I love it when the snow's falling like this. There's already some covering there on the ground. Go out track, see what's kicking around in the neighborhood. Usually squirrels. <laughs> so, but we'll find, I'll see what's up. Maybe keep you posted on it. Beautiful. Okay, Pisces, here's what's up. You're starting out uh, with your energy here with the magician. You want something to manifest in the relationship, perhaps, in your own life. Uh, magician has everything they need to accomplish this. They recognize that they are the creators of their world, uh, that they are manifesting whatever it is their heart desires. They have all the tools they need. Your external challenge is this Two of Cups energy, though. This is a couple, of course, that's been through some trials and tribulations already. They um they know each other really well though. That's the benefit of it. And they 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 have a lot of strength in the relationship as a result. So it being a challenge, maybe your partner is on board somewhat, but not all the way. Uh I'll get more kind of to that in a moment here with because of that nine of wands and your internal uh challenges. But it's not, it's not something that you can't overcome uh, in the relationship at all. And like I said, you're manifesting something here. So it's, it looks like your partner's on board with it. You just need you just need a little bit more support or assurance from them. Your center card is the Eight of Wands. Now, Eight of Wands can kind of be, uh, it, it can indicate messages. You know, there may be a lot of text messaging going on. Uh, maybe something uh, you weren't anticipating. Because the Eight of Wands energy uh, is also kind of being caught off guard with something. Something taking you by surprise, perhaps, in the relationship. And uh, it, can, it can mean that you just need a change of perspective a little bit. Uh, you may have to get to a little bit of a higher ground, kind of filter it all out, see what really is going on. And uh, yeah, just be on the lookout for those for those messages that may catch you a little bit off guard for Valentine's Day. Your internal uh, challenge here, your challenge for what's going on with the with the, the day of or around that time frame for your loved one is the Nine of Wands energy. So Nine of Wands is someone who's a little bit exhausted because they've already gone through uh, some emotional challenges or, or physical challenges. Nine are usually, uh, wands are usually action cards. So what we're seeing is, is someone who uh, may be a little bit fatigued, maybe a little bit um, t having a moment of pause before they continue to pursue what it is they are after or likely manifesting in your case. And... Uh, Really gathering up their resources, making sure they know who's got in their corner with things, who's got their backs, 
uh, what they can pull from in order to have the upper hand or to proceed through a challenging time. So that's the Nine of Wands. Your overall energy is beautiful. You've got the Lover's Card energy. This, of course, is that intimate, that soulmate connection. It's also your Choice card. Uh, the Lover's Card traditionally is. But as you can see, this connection's a really strong one with you, with you and your partner here. Uh, it's a deeper understanding. It may be a soul bond. It may be a twin flame. Uh, but all in all, it's about you two sitting down, having a discussion, having that quiet, intimate moment to yourself, and uh, really, really just seeing where the, the other's at, both intuitively uh, and talking things out, having some good communication in there. Let's see then, what is your energy and your partner's energy uh, for this time frame? May I please have two cards, one for Pisces in a partnership, please, and one for Pisces partner. We can have two cards, please, representing Pisces in a relationship and their partner. There's one. We got page of wands energy. Yep, that's you. Lots of wands out. You want action on something, Pisces. You're after something. Creating. You got a lot of ideas. There's your partner. You got Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Okay, let's talk about this eight, this uh, page of wands here. Page of wands can be a little bit immature at times, uh, especially when it comes to how they proceed with their actions. They have a lot of full, lot of wonderful ideas, uh, passions, creativities, uh, maybe a little bit of heat kind of going on uh, romantically, uh, but sometimes they lack the performance. Sometimes they uh they have the potential but they lack the performance and they could use a little bit of a nudge and positive support in the right direction or somebody there to guide them help them figure things out a little bit better that's your energy pisces your partner sounds wonderful you got the ace of cups energy this is your gift from the divine true true emotional fulfillment uh for many of you pisces out there who are coupled up uh this is this is peace of mind tranquility uh this is indicating to me that many of you pisces may have a partner who's who's very emotionally supportive uh, very kind brings you a lot of stability and peace of mind let's see then what the angels have to say for Pisces coupled up spirit what would you like Pisces to know thank you I have got <laughs> brilliant idea what do they say you're manifesting you're after something right Brilliant idea. It says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So your partner's got to have you back with this. And this is why that two external two cups card is out here. Whatever it is, Pisces, that you're after, that you're manifesting, you you got to go for it. And you got to get your partner on board with it. And maybe Valentine's is the perfect day to discuss all this. So that said... Let's move on to you singles. I wish you, you partnered Pisces well. Let's see what the singles reading is here. Okay. Give it a quick, quick lazy shuffle. I don't have to do all that fancy poker, poker shuffling stuff for you. This works just fine. There we go. First one out. We've got the Four of Pentacles. Some you single Pisces maybe saving some money. You get a feeling your eyes is going to be focused on the finance. A lot of singles right now. That's where the energy is. I noticed for this season. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, absolutely. That's your external challenge. You're saving, saving for a solid foundation. Saving for a future. Uh, maybe inheriting some funds. Looking at your resource, future investments, beautiful seven cups, a little bit of confusion, empress card energy. Again, going back to that challenge, you may have a baby on the way, some of you singles. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. One more, please. For overall energy for single Pisces, please. Thank you. We've got seven of wands and two of pentacles. Anybody else out there? No. Okay. Let's look at this. Let me break this down for you. Pisces, single Pisces, you're either being a little bit greedy, hmm, 
hanging on to your money like that or maybe hanging on to something tangible from the past. Maybe time. Maybe you're running out of time on something. Uh, but you could also be saving for future investments. And that's really what I get a stronger sense of in this card reading indeed is that you're looking towards the future. And you're saying, okay, I want this, this, and this uh, in, in, in the near future here. How do I get it? Because you've got Ten of Pentacles coming up in your external challenges. That's somebody saving for a home, uh, saving for, again, future investments, saving for future generations even uh, could be a good indicator with that Ten of Pentacles energy. Seven of Cups is your center card. You're a little bit confused. And some, of the, some of those single Pisces out there may have too many options going on. Uh, may, may have too many side pieces going on, something along those lines. Uh, may have, you know, just, just over, being overwhelmed by all the options that are available. Maybe overwhelmed by some emotions even during this time frame. Your internal challenge is your Empress card energy. So what that's indicating to me, pardon me, is that you're a little bit confused on love. You know, Empress is also synonymous with Venus. So the, Venus, of course, is the goddess of love and affection. Uh, and values actually is another another Venus energy. Is what is what is it that you value the most? And that that's a lot in terms of what I'm seeing here already. Uh, where do your la values lie? Is really what you're going to be asking yourself here uh, for this Valentine's time frame. She's also the card of abundance, a uh, harvest, many 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 blessings, fruitfulness bearing fruit, uh, harvesting the land, and yes, could also indicate a pregnancy of sorts uh, in your in, in your singledom or single in uh, Pisces. Uh, what your overall energy, yes, is indeed choice, uh, especially when it comes to your finance or finding the balance of your time, money. Uh, you may have some, some uh, emotional stuff thrown at you. How do you keep it all in perspective? How do you balance everything? And you've also got the Seven of Wands. So that's a victory of sorts though so in this in this reading you're figuring it all out whatever the connection is for you guys uh, for that Valentine's time frame you're figuring it all out you're standing up for yourself in this situation which is absolutely beautiful uh, Pisces uh, definitely self-empowered very focused has goals in mind uh, it may be a little overwhelming at times but I, I got a very good feeling that you guys are really going to be on top of your game figuring it all out as you need to and hopefully having the support you need as well so let's see then what else I hit it when you're upside down. <laughs> Let's see that what your energy is. Perfect. Okay, so Ten of Cups in reverse is your energy. I need one more for Pisces potential partner for those singles. I got two. For those singles interested. I've got the chariot in reverse and I've got the ten of coins in reverse. Let's start with the ten of cups energy. So your energy is typically one of friends and joy and merriment. But this time around, you're a little bit more reserved. It's not to say that there's not a ton of love and wealth and abundance around you. It's at this moment you may just not see it or you're hopeful for it. It's in a little bit of a delay when it's in this this reverse position. It's on its way. Hello. Keep that in mind and manifest that energy that everything you need, all that abundance you need, Pisces, is indeed on its way. Your partner, too, uh, is is on its on their way. <laughs> you've got the chariot card in reverse, and you've got the ten of pentacles in reverse. Right? Yes. Ten of pentacles, of course, is that that the good de gras card, right? That's everything you need. Uh, future investments, uh, uh, inheritance, winning the lottery, unexpected cash income that takes care of you, your family, your loved ones, generation from one generation to the next kind of thing. That's money in the bank and then having some to enjoy life with. Uh, the chariot, of course, is, is a victory of sorts, but it's... It's a humble one. It's one that's taking its time. Now, these two guys in reverse are not indicating that it's not on its way. Indeed, it is. But again, it's a bit of a delay. Your, your either future partner or your partner uh, potential is kind of going through their own thing. They're trying to figure out, too, where 
their wealth is, where their abundance is, and how how do they get to that point? In other words, they're still running the race. They're still trying to figure things out, and once they get there, aha, the two of you line up perfectly because of this Empress card energy. You two have the Ten of, ten of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Cups right here. Everything is on its way, Pisces. It is just not right away. Valentine's may be a good time for you to reflect, uh, really determine where it is you want to spend your energy and where you want to go in life and uh, you know figure things out there and I promise you things are going to meet up somewhere along the way here uh, to to really align with what you want what your potential partner wants and uh, you know it'll be good from there and you'll be like ah oh, that's what Strega was talking about got it all right let's see what the angel messages are for my single Pisces please and this will be the the cap off to the reading. What would, what messages, spirits, do you would you like single Pisces to know? Thank you. We've got healthy lifestyle. Boy, I've seen this one a lot in all the readings uh, this time around. It says eat a healthy diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise for optimal health. Single Pisces, be healthy, be good to yourself, nurture yourself. Right? If you're working hard. If you're working hard, you're trying to make that money, don't burn yourself out with it, right? Just tuck it away. You know, make time make time for yourselves, for sure. And then everything is all going to work out. I wish you the best, Pisces. Again, leave me a comment down below if you'd like. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys here with the weeklies. Blessed be.